Hi guys. Uh, so in this video, I want to share with you something that I learned from Bud Powell. Uh, and it came from this solo, which he plays on Anthropology. Uh, there's a recording of Bud Powell live um, in Europe. If I can find the video, I'm going to attach the link for you below. Um, so what I played just now, that's the beginning of uh, Bud Powell's solo, the right hand in particular. Um, so the part that I'm very interested in is what he plays in the bridge. So the bridge uh, for anthropology is D7, followed by G7, and then F7, I mean C7, sorry, and then F7. So he's simply playing seventh chords um, and he's going up in fourths. So he starts on D, goes up a fourth to G, goes up a fourth again to C, and then goes up a fourth to F. Right. So here's the big lesson I got from Bud Powell. Um, you know how in books and at school they teach us about chord scale relationships? Uh, I learned from Bud Powell that you should actually be thinking about scale chord relationships. So in other words, instead of thinking, okay, this is a C7 um, chord, what scale can I play over this? You should be thinking, right, this is a C7 scale. What chords can I play from the C7 scale? Right, so uh, actually, since I'm talking about a C7 scale, let me show you what, I, what uh, it looks like. So here's a C dominant 7 scale. So those are the seven notes uh, that come from the C dominant seventh scale. Uh, from each of these notes, we get uh, a seventh chord, right? So from the first note of the scale, I can get this chord. From the second degree of that scale, I can get that chord. From the third degree, I get that chord. Uh, from the fourth, from the fifth, and from the sixth, and then from the seventh, right? Um, and not only should you know the chords like this, you should be able to play the arpeggios. You know, uh, and uh, a common uh, bebop technique is to always approach that uh, arpeggio from half a step below, so you want to be able to play, you know, to play things like that. Uh, that's a little line there, starting... Um, on the first degree of the scale, I'm playing the chord on the first degree, right? So, right? I could play a, a line start with the chord starting on the second degree, like, you know, I could play a line with the chord starting on the third degree of C7, like, uh, you know, I could play that. I could play um, a line with the chord that starts on the fourth degree of, uh, of C7. Um, you know, uh, the possibilities here are endless. You know, um, I'm simply just playing all these chords, and these are chords that come from the C7 scale, and then mixing them up with a few other techniques. Uh, so, let's go back to the Bud Powell uh, solo and analyze what he plays uh, in the bridge of anthropology. So, uh, over that D7, Bud Powell played something which just blew my mind. So he said... So, I said to myself, why on earth is Bud Powell playing a G minor chord on a D7 chord, it just doesn't make sense. I, I can't even see the connection, right? You know, ah, and then he plays some notes as well that are not even part of that D7 scale. He goes B flat as well, plays that E flat there, right? So all confusing stuff. So I then realized, you know what, Bud Powell is probably not thinking of D7. Uh, the conclusion that I came to is Bud Powell is actually trying to play a 2-5-1 that takes him to G7, uh, but through D7. 
So he's actually wanting to play the two, which is A half diminished, then D7, and then that will take him to, to uh, G7. Now, if you take a closer look at the A half diminished, what scale does that come from? Well, the A half diminished comes from the F7 scale. You know, it's the chord that's found in the third degree of an F dominant 7th scale. So Bud Powell must have been thinking of an F7 going to D7 and then going to G7. So he plays So that G minor that he plays is the, is the chord that's found on the 2nd degree of F7. right? So that's why he plays uh, actually, if you look at this, these are all notes of a C, I mean, of an F7 scale. Look at this. But then it goes into D. Right? So it's simply F7 going to D7. Right? Uh, so he's is playing chords that come from the scale. And then over the G7, he plays another chord. First I thought, is this a D minor, um, D minor seven chord? And then I realized, you know what? He's not really thinking uh, of chords. He's thinking of a G minor scale and is simply playing a chord that comes from that scale. Uh, so from a G7, there's that chord. Actually, it could also be the chord that's found in the 7th of G7. It's like he plays both of them together. So he's gone from... Then to G7. Now look what he does on the C7. So on the C7, he plays the chord that starts on the 7th. Uh, of C7, which is this one here. Okay, he actually plays it exactly like that. So he goes. Right, remember C7, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the chord on the seventh of C7. So he goes. Because at first I thought, why is he playing a B flat major seven on a C7? Uh, chord, but he's actually just thinking of a chord that's found on the C7 scale. And then finally, when he goes to F7, right, he plays the chord that's found in the third of F7, which is this one here. But then he just approaches the whole thing from half a step below and he plays so. In fact, I've got no doubt he's thinking of chords because even this here is a chord that's found on the 7th of F7. So, so instead of thinking about um, a chord and then the scales that come from uh, that chord, the scales that you can play over that chord, rather think of, take one scale and find out all the chords that come from that scale. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below uh, and also subscribe to my channel so that uh, you know whenever I put something new up. I've got a jazz course, in fact some jazz courses coming up soon. On my website, please check it out, www.wellroundedkeyboardplayer.com. Happy practicing, and I'll see you next time.